testimony of Kelly Martin, who died and was granted to come back to tell the horrors of hell. My name is Kelly Martins, I'm just a young girl of 16, my whole family goes to church, at the age of 13 I started to make more friends at school, and my friends started to take me to the ballads, I stopped going to church and started to go to the balls in secret and my parents were unaware of this, I started lying to them, saying I went to my friend's house but I was really going to the funk balls, I was very rebellious, and at the age of 14 I started posting my sexy pictures on Facebook, I caught the attention of many men and received friend requests from all kind of men. At 15 I started to spend my time in WhatsApp group with people I didn't know, today I always ask the youth to never give your number to unknown people, it was when I began to use social network that's my tests started, I would ask you Christians to get out of WhatsApp group that's not from God, in the group that I belonged to there were many married men and Christians who wanted to have an affair with me even online without body contact. These men cheated on their wife through WhatsApp's group, a lot of them went into my private chat and spoke immoral words sending me picture of their sexual organ and asking me to send them my sneakers picture, in this social network group I met a lady missionary, I'm not going to reveal her name not to scandalize the gospel, I don't want to bring down her ministry since she preach on the pulpit, she is addicted to WhatsApp group and also send nude pictures in her group. This woman sent me a picture of her genitalia, she may be listening to this recording, and I had a message from God to warn you God woman stop prostituting yourself in the WhatsApp group while it is time to repent, if I wanted to scandalize the gospel and your church I would have put your photos on Facebook for people and member of your church to know what you do, but I won't do this, on the contrary, I am praying for you. I pray for this missionary who is married but has the spirit of lesbianism and prostitution, I'm praying for your release and freedom, many are the believers who prostitute themselves through social networks yet they know the truth. Please don't play with God before it is late, he may throw you into hellfire because of sin, men who are predators are there in social network group in virtual prostitution. Even married men are practicing prostitution devaluing their wives that God gave them. I saw women of God who are married, they were member of WhatsApp and Facebook group they were post and photo of their bodies in social networks, please God servant, respect your husband, I plead to you to stop posting and using your bodies by advertising your nudity in social network, please get away from social network, it is a trap for the weak, married women are exposing their bodies and humiliating their husband. Our culture values the outer physical body and exposing nudity cause reactions that are negative, I was in the world and in rebellion, four guys and a friend invited me to go to a funky ballads, today I knows that you are not a friend when you invite me in that lifestyle of disco and nightclub, on that day we went to a funky ballad, few hours later after leaving the club we went to a house that was abandoned, everyone was drank. I noticed the friend who invited me had left me alone with the guys. They started taking off my clothes and forced me to have sex with them. After the rape incident I went worried and started to feel sick because of the excess of drugs that I had used. Later the boys left me alone and disappeared. My body started shaking and I started to foam. I thought I was dying. Upon this realization I asked the Lord's mercy. I was truly dying and I began to see the spirit world. When I left my body immediately I saw the angel of death by my side, the demon of death came to take my soul. I saw four demons around one of the boy that was in the abandoned house, brother and sister, the monster of death grabbed me violently and we descended to hell, within seconds we were in hell in a dark and empty place, the sky in hell was dark grey, and black smoke washed over the Aries, I saw a hole that was opened in the sky in hell through which countless of human souls were falling in this place of torment, I was at the valley that was filled with countless of souls of people who had died at that time in various parts of the world, the valley where I was looked like a huge rock, straight away I saw millions of demons with hammers, others with arrows, others with tridents, they all came to get the souls of men that have fallen in this place of torment, when I saw them I was scared. The suffering that souls feel after death is extreme and beyond human understanding, brother in hell lost souls, are mutilated, 
I wanted to get out of there I started to cry from despair. In this valley I saw a beautiful looking woman suffering in the flames. I approached her and recognized her face. Back on the earth I really liked this dancer when I was watching funk. Her name is Amanda Bueno, a former Popozudian cage dancer of Leska group. This dancer screamed in pain and the fire consumed her. She asked me for help and wanted to me get her out of that place. But as she talked to me I saw a demons with hot iron approaching her. The demon ordered the dancer to dance and wiggle him. The dancer did the dance unintentionally against her will. The lady was crying while dancing and wiggling in the flames, but the demons pierced her with red hot irons. She moaned in pain that she almost fainted. The young lady looked at me and said, Tell my mother and my father to accept the Lord Jesus, and tell my daughter also, accept the Lord Jesus for I do not want them to come here, as you can this place is real, hell is real and terrible, and when she said this my spirit was taken elsewhere, I was terrified. The angel came to me and and raised me because I passed out and fainted out of fear, I thought I would never get out of that place, I was in another valley of hell. The information I had was that many god children were there because of prostitution in social network, they were countless of god children in the crowds of lost souls in this valley. These lost souls were prostitute of social networks in platform like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, I saw a Christian that was in hell for joining the groups VHKL from WhatsApp, in that group he participated in chat and immorals talk. I saw a young Christian in hell for because of another Facebook and WhatsApp group where he committed virtual fornication. This young man sent his naked pictures in the group for women, he did not wait for God to prepare a woman for him. He was prostituting with several women of the of the social network. This young man suffered a cardiac arrest and died at night after sending pictures of his genitals in the group. I saw a girl in hell who sends nude pictures in Kch group for guys. One day she recorded a video while masturbating the video started to circulate on the internet, when she got known and identified by people who knew her she was ashamed to get out of home, and she killed herself and she went down to hell, I saw an elder who is married he was also targeted by social networks he likes the picture of several women in Facebook, his heart was full of sensuality, he ended up with a perverted mind. He surf all the time in Facebook to see pictures of women on the beach in bikini and bra, he enjoyed watching porn videos from Facebook, this is how he betrayed his wife for his mind was full of thoughts of adultery. His desire for another woman made him entertain and enjoy virtual and online adultery, he betrayed his wife, who never involved herself in these things, she lived longer than her husband. The elder was weak spiritually for being long time addicted to Facebook he no longer had time to pray and reads the Bible, a demon of spiritual weakness dominated his life, the elder died in a car accident when he was driving, and he went down to hell where he was called by the title of fornicator by demons, even if he did not cheat on his wife using his body but he cheated in social networks and the number of souls that are going to hell because because fornication in social networks is increasing, the social network is a trap created in hell disguised as means of communication, I saw pastors who cheated on their wife through whatsapp, they didn't get sex from these women but with words, chatting and morals, they committed sin of unfaithfulness to their wives. I saw in hell a lady missionary who enjoyed posting scandalous photos of herself in Facebook and Instagram, she posted her photos of bikini and bra on the beach, all her nude photos were on face and Instagram causing desire in the heart of many men in marriage, she destroyed many servants of God who were her friend who came to see her picture and they committed adultery in their hearts, this missionary who was the altar preacher and he traveled a lot doing the work of God. She was also a stumbling block to many and even scandalized the gospel using her body as seduction instrument, this woman is being punished cruelly by demons because of her evils, I saw a 12 year old crying in hell, she lamented and said, why did I fail to obey my mom, I refuse to listen to her advice and I'm in this place in torment.
The angel told me that parents should put a limit on their children and that the young people must obey their parents. This 12-year-old girl was invited to go to the funk balls and she went to the funk despite the opposition of her parents disobeying their orders. She was killed by dawn. I was very sorry to see that girl being tormented by demons. It was difficult to see that your girl in that place suffering and great pain and agony. I saw many children from 8 to 10 years old suffering in hell for dancing funk. I asked the angel about what caused the condemnation of these children. The angel said funk is a music style that encourages children to be sensual and practice sex in young age thus the demons of immorality enter their bodies making these kids rebellious very early, and others sell their bodies in prostitution. Many 10-year-old girl are already dressed as harlots assuming an attitude of grown woman. I couldn't stand seeing these girls screaming in hell and I started to cry. We are losing a lot of young people because of funk that is taking many to the hell. Every day younger people dies more than older people that are living longer, while the elderly die from diseases of natural causes. Young people die from overdose and murdered. Then I saw my 15-year-old friend and dresser in this place of torment. She was a friend who died of drug overdose, she had used various drugs and hooker, when she saw me she held out her hands and said get me out of here, I said Andressa I can't get you out of here I'm sorry friend, she told me, Kelly, this place belongs to you too, you did the same things like me, you dance funk just like me, you do drugs and alcohol like me, I told Andressa, no, my address will not be here with you. Let's stand on opposite sides in eternity, our friendship will not help us forever now. Immediately I saw a demon who started torturing her, I could see her screaming in despair, I saw another friend of mine in torment he died in a murdered case when he went to the funk ballads. The angel said, funk is bringing many young people to hell and inducing them to sex and drug. The angel took me in valley of young people who died going to funk balls, most died murdered and others with drug overdose, some girls were raped and killed, young people when they go to the funks balls they get drunk and drugged, they lose track of what they do, while witnessing everything from that scene of suffering in this valley of hell, a giant demon approached me holding a teenager by the neck, that nasty demon presented himself to me as king of funk, he is responsible for the creation and production the musical beat called funk, he introduced himself and told me, I'm winning many souls with my beats of funk, I am very successful in Brazil, I make young girls roll and encourage young people to sex, drugs and alcohol, you used to dance my songs and write them, I send millions of demons to Brazil and they bring me the many souls of funk dancers and funk heroes, and people who hear my beat of funk will be bewitched through the ears. The enchantment will grow through their mouths and the thought they will be controlled in the mind through the song. The youth of the churches that are believers and listen to our music we will destroy their lives. Take this message to earth and tell those who dance funk I own their bodies. This principality said, I teaches the young people to dance, and when they die and arrive here in hell, they will have to dance funk on top of ember fire. This demon did nothing to me because the angel was by my side but with odd he really wanted to strangle my neck, the flames of fire grew in his eyes with so much hatred against me for winning a new chance and opportunity to return to earth. The angel took me to another place where souls that were attached to fun and the funk heroes were, I saw a sisum DJ in hell, many teenagers are tormented with him 24 hours non-stop, the demons with red hot irons marked the legs and buttocks of the girls who died attached to funky short. Meat pieces from them fell to the ground and the fire consumed these pieces turning to ashes, there the demons make the girls and the boys dance funk in a room of torments where they dance on top of fire, the demons said they danced funk in land now let's keep dancing, they force the girls to dance in little square, they tormented the girls from the waist down, they put a spear of fire in her body, they always tormenting the bottom parts of the body for these girls died with tight short with tank top showing the belly and legs to the crowds, young people in this valley gave screams and moans of death they could not endure pain anymore, I saw the boys being tortured and danced the little step of the Roman, the angel showed a vision on earth, where I saw crowds of young people taking drugs getting drunk at funky balls all over the Brazil, 
My vision went to the young believers who listened and danced funk. I saw an abyss of fire that under the feet of every youngster's feet that listen or dance funk. The angel said, They are walking toward the abyss of fire, brother, I say from the bottom of my heart, do no play with God, he is justice and judge, your cities will be tried even the young members of the church, take God things seriously, you cannot fool God who knows everything, you can fool your parents and your shepherd, but God's eyes are following each one of your step, you can go to the funk ballads hiding from your parents but God is seeing everything. After you heard this testimony God can allow the funk demons.